Welcome to the first episode, technically second, but first episode of the Honda Fit Build Series. This is where I take my daily driver 2011 Honda Fit Sport and turn it into the ultimate daily driving machine. What's up, man? <laughs> Welcome to episode eight of the Honda Fit Build Series, where I take my stock 2011 Honda Fit Sport and turn into the ultimate 2011 Honda Fit Sport daily driver. And I know, I know what you're thinking. By now, with all the mods that I did previous to this one, yeah, I'm like, ah, uh, looks like you're turning your car to like a little race car, but no. I am not. I am turning it into the ultimate daily. Like I said, you gotta have the bells and the whistles, the sights and the sounds. In today's video, we're focusing on the sounds, baby. We are about to unbox and install an entire exhaust system and an unequal length header from the good man over at Unequal Fabrication. Well, 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 what do we have here, bro, bro, bro? We have a V-band. He actually threw a V-band on the end of the uh, mid-pipe. This right here is the header. Let me just, un oh my God, let me unbox this. This is insane quality. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is my header. This is my hell. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Look at the quality of this. Look at the welds, bro. Fam, I got the resonator on that, John. This is the end of my, uh, this is the end of the exhaust. I didn't want a muffler. I just like, ah, if I ever wanted to throw a muffler on, I'm glad he added the uh, V-band section so I could just take the V-band off and they have like a muffler added on. This is insane, bro. I'm so stoked. All right, Fit, it's you about to be fitted up real nice. Real nice. Let me go ahead and bust out the nice lens and take some nice shots of this because this is, this is just insane, bro. So moving along from the previous iPhone clip, I went ahead and removed that little, I, I don't know what the hell that is, but I removed it. I uh, removed the heat shield, it's uh, four 10 millimeter bolts, removed the heat shield, and now we're exposed to the header, and we have to remove the three bolts that hold the header to the head. Plan of action, I'm gonna raise the car on my quick jack, and then work my way, I'm getting the exhaust completely off, and then work my way back up to the front, removing the cat, and then removing the header.
this is like year two or I think year two with the quick jacks and this is still the best investment ever bro like it ain't a max jack but the quick jack does the damn job looking underneath the fit we are good baby no oil leaks everything looks good looking at the exhaust system it's not that bad we got uh three bolts right there to remove that and then it goes back to oh it's hitting right on it Full. this isn't good this isn't good at all brother but working our way back we have uh hopefully i can hopefully i can remove that we have oh, two bolts you guys can't see on the camera but there's two bolts right there that holds the muffler in place oh look i got our spoon in one exhaust system bro but uh yeah so it's quick and easy it shouldn't be too hard to remove everything we got two hangers here we got a hanger here and we got a hanger right there and we got uh i think that's it and we just gotta remove the um, uh, O2 sensor and then we can drop all this. So I'm gonna start by trying to remove all this stuff right here because once I get the cat off, well, once I get this part of the exhaust off, we're money to remove everything up from up top. So let's go ahead, uh, I think it's like 14, so three 14 millimeters, get this knocked off loose, get this hanger off and we should be in business. One long extension, one short extension, and a long 12. And my extendo ratchet wrench. You just gotta make it work, bro. You gotta make it work. We got the hanger that, we have the hang, we have hanger two off. We're gonna work our way back to get this whole like mid pipe gone. So we got two 12s and another hanger, so. Let's get our Milwaukee, which is the best tools ever, bro. Milwaukee, bro. I need the sponsorship, bro. Even though I'm working out of a incy wincy garage, bro. Yeah, I gotta be home to the DIYers, dude. You have hangers that want, you have hangers that don't wanna come loose? Use some WD-40. With ease, came off with ease, WD-40. Now, we run into an issue where now this is stuck. Oh God. Oh, Quick Jack, you failed me. You have failed me, Quick Jack. You have failed me. Got the old out, now it is time to put the new and I'm now realizing it's gonna be a pain for all of them besides this one. I'm gonna have to use that, put that in. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I gotta put this bolt in, maybe with like a ratchet wrench. And same with that one, a ratchet wrench. But uh, it's ready to go in. Oh, I gotta transfer the donut gasket from that one to that one. indeed the next day uh yesterday I had to rush out for an emergency but we're back at it uh so i don't know how far i showed you guys yesterday but i got the header on and i just put the down pipe with the cat back on now the issue i'm having is i can't attach the rest of the exhaust because the quick jacks are my biggest op i can't do it because the quick jack has this whole entire thing on. So what I'm gonna have to do, Randy gave me the smart idea yesterday. I'm gonna put four jack stands, like I'm gonna put one right here on the control arm, control arm, back of the solid axle back there, all the highest settings. So when I lower the quick jack, it's gonna drop the quick jack onto the jack stands and I'm able to uh, continue with putting on the exhaust. If you do buy an exhaust or header or whatever from the homie over at Unequal Fabrication, um, make sure you pick up some spark plug defilers so you don't um, foul out your spark plug. I mean, so you don't foul out your O2 sensor. And the, the part number is 42002. And you have to drill out the inside. So this is the original one that comes in the packaging. 
Um, it threads in perfectly fine, but you won't be able to thread in your O2 sensor because it needs to be milled out. It's tapered so much that the O2 sensor can't even fit in. So what I did, I threaded that thing out, baby. That thing now is ready to roll. Uh, I used the 516 drill bit and just milled it all out, like just running the drill bit in circles until I was able to fit. It's a lot of testing. It's a tedious process. It's super simple though. Um, but yeah, we're ready to roll. Put this defouler. This will save us from having any check engine light codes. So that, and then we get our O2 sensor. And we plug that in like so. Okay, so this isn't sketchy at all. I got the one quick jack off. The other one does not want to remove, but I have four post, <laughs> four post jack stands, but luckily I'm able to to get the mid pipe off. Now, I'm scared as hell to go underneath this car right now, even though I do have four post lift. Well, not four post lift, but uh, four post jack. I don't know. I'm not trying to die here, bro. Not for no goddamn YouTube video, but hey, the show must go on. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, 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 bum. All right, guys, I know I'm doing a terrible job at the install process of this uh, exhaust system, but I'm trying. If I had a GoPro, it'd be easier. I could just set y'all on a GoPro, but I have the start of the mid pipe uh, installed. I should have had my better lens, but oh, I'm dragging it. I'm so sorry. All right, let's go. Uh, this is still out of my mind sketch, but I mean, hopefully everything works out now. Hopefully this works. Oh, you guys can't see. Well, you guys probably can see. Now this camera be tricking me sometimes. Like the screen display doesn't be actually accurately showing me the light. So. is on all fours yet again we have the beautiful unequal length exhaust installed look at that thing the whole entire i meant header but the whole entire exhaust is installed and it looks like it's from factory bro so when i'm in traffic i'm like what's making all that noise the moment we've all been waiting for the first startup how is this thing gonna sound all right Oh man. <laughs> That's funny. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It's actually the next day, one of the clamps that came with my exhaust um, broke. It was weird. I never broke a V-Bang clamp like this before, but uh, dude, this thing got like mangled. So I had to wait for Amazon. I was one day delivery, had to wait, and then it just delivered. It Right now it's like seven o'clock. Whatever the timestamp on the screen says, that's what time it is. I just finished clamping on the exhaust, got the car running, Sound stock, right? Like, oh wow, it's gonna be loud. It's gonna do all this and that. Yeah, it's not, it's perfect. However, I do got a check engine light, but when I rev it, dude, <laughs> I'm gonna get the car to the garage, get some couple revs and probably do like some rice or flybys. Hopefully if my car's not in lit mode because of the check engine light, I gotta figure out how I can clear that. 
Maybe a K tuner. Maybe that'll clear it. So as you guys see, I have a check engine light. Luckily for me, my launch box came in the mail today. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So a company on Amazon reached out to me uh, to do a review on their diagnostic tool. And I was like, uh, f uh. yes, let's do that. And they sent me this bad boy. Fam, this thing is insane. I'll have all the information down below. In case you're looking to pick up one yourself, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my OBD2 port so I can see what my check engine light for. Or maybe I forgot to connect something back. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna plug this in and we'll see what's up. Confirm. Dude, I plugged it in and it's doing like a VIN scan. It, oh my God. Oh, that's, I've never had a scan tool of this caliber before that literally auto detects your VIN number. Like, I don't even know where this car came from. U USA? Like, I, I'm sure. All right, so I got all my abnormal codes. Uh, I have a P0135 air fuel ratio sensor, sensor one. That's the top sensor. Heater circuit malfunction. And my mommy's calling. So let me see what's up with Mama Deuce. I can clear the code? Yes, I'm clearing the code. It's gonna come right back on, but it is what it is. This whole unit is really unique. But I know you guys came for the exhaust stuff, so let me give you guys some sweet exhaust noises right after I uh, keep toying around with this. But this thing is awesome. Like, when you plug in an OB2 port, it charges itself. Like, obviously it's getting power, but it's literally charging itself as well. So, I don't know. I think this thing's gonna come in handy, especially when I keep throwing check engine lights like I always do. <laughs> this thing is dope, man. This thing is dope, but I feel like I should get a K-Tuner to erase any codes, and it's cheap. K tuner, I can mount my little thing like right here or somewhere, like make something where it can mount right there. That should be fresh, bro. But it, like I said, it's a daily. I can't be doing all that. It's a daily. Turn the car on and see if it comes back. And I know it's going to. And even if the checking the light comes back, that ain't gonna stop me from giving y'all the sick revs. It sounds so oh. sweet. <laughs> Takeover kids? That was disrespectful. I didn't appreciate that. But I love you nonetheless, but still, I don't appreciate that. You're gonna get me wings? Get your wings? Girl, we got an exhaust. And uh, I have officially undailied my daily. <laughs> it sounds so good.
So what do you guys think of the exhaust tones, the exhaust notes, all of that? Let me know, leave a comment down below. I'll put the link to the Instagram of Unequal Fabrication in case you have a Honda Fit and you want like an axle back made. He, bro, this guy like specializes everything when it comes to like exhaust system uh, for the Honda Fit. So if you have a Fit and you want some cool fitted things, I'll be sure to have his Instagram down in the description below. Yeah, that's pretty much wraps for episode eight of the Honda Fit Build Series. Next up, uh, we got the wheels and we got the coilovers and we have a RSB and we have hybrid products and that's pretty much it. Oh, and the clutch delay delete valve and new master cylinder from the good man, Sebastian from Seb's Garage. So we got some stuff left. And other than that, we have like maybe three, I think three episodes left, three, maybe four episodes left. And then we should be done with the fit project for now. But yeah, just to get all the stuff out, going back from episode one, seeing all the parts now to this, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you wanna see previous episodes of the Honda Fit Build Series, I have a card somewhere right here or here. I don't I don't really know, but I have a link down in the description box below, okay? But thank you guys for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one, man. I am out. Peace. Peace. Peace.